everyone greetings of the day dear all today we are going to study a famous poem written by john dunn a lecture upon the shadow this is a metaphysical poem and in this metaphysical poem first of all we would like to know the meaning of the word metaphysical metaphysical tells us about the deep rooted meaning of the poem the lines have a different meaning what they generally see so i'm your host arke sharma on my channel knowledge diary and first of all i would like to let you know about a small introduction about the poem a lecture upon the shadow the poet presents love in three stages here they are morning noon and evening morning is the is the stage of initial love and when the sun develops the shadows begin to grow shorter and at the noon there are no shadows this is the highest point of love but then love begins to decline and shadows again begin to longer and finally at the evening there are no shadows it means love has come to an end so we are going to study this poem as per stanzas so here is the first stanza stand still and i will write to thee a lecture love in love's philosophy these three hours that we have spent walking here two shadows went along with us which we ourselves produced but now the sun is just above our head we do these shadows treat the poet is walking with his beloved in the garden and he tells us he tells to uh, beloved that uh, you stand still and i will let you know about the philosophy of love he tells her that they have spent 3 hours in the garden and they have two shadows and uh, those shadows tells them something about the life of love कभी अपनी प्रेमिका के साथ बगीचे में घूमता हुआ कह रहा है कि मैं तुम्हें प्रेम के दर्शन शास्त्र के बारे में कुछ बता रहा हूं हम पिछले तीन घंटों से साथ साथ घूम रहे हैं और हमारे साथ दो परछाइयां भी घूम रही है ये दो परछाइयां कवि और उसकी प्रेमिका की है जिनको उन्होंने उत्पन्न किया था सूर्य हमारे सिर के ऊपर आ गया है और हमने हमारी परछाइयों को खुद को ही कुचल दिया है अब सब कुछ स्पष्ट है और परछाइयां धीरे धीरे छोटी होती जा रही है तो यहां कवि ये बताना चाह रहा है कि जो लव है उसके डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स क्या क्या होते हैं यहां हम कुछ और देखने जा रहे हैं देखिए द पॉइंट आस्क हिज बिलोव टू स्टैंड स्टिल दैट ही वॉन्ट्स हिज बिलोव टू स्टैंड मोशनलेस विद अ केयर फ्री माइंड सेट इन ऑर्डर टू लिसन टू द लेक्चर ऑन ट्रू लव दैट वुड बी डिलीवर्ड बाय द पॉइंट टू हिज बिलोव the poet continues to refer to the 3 hours that he had spent with his beloved these 3 hours 
are a reference to the initial stage that the poet and his beloved spent in the stage of togetherness. The poet then continues to say that he and his beloved created two shadows of themselves while they were together in the morning hours and these shadows symbolize initial stages of their love. But as the moon arrives, when the sun shines the brightest, the shadows are not evidently visible. Everything seems to be bright and clear with no trace of darkness. This noon time symbolizes the duration in the lives of the lovers when their love shines to the, its brightest level. The love of the lovers at this stage is at the, its peak and the lovers seem to be completely engrossed in the state of deep love. The poet then continues to say that while their infant love, that is their initial love, continued to grow, the shadows also continued to flow and change in their appearance. These shadows are a reflection of the different stages of love in the life of lovers. For instance, the morning shadows are a representation of the initial stage of love in the life of lovers. And now the second stanza. And so the vague clearness of all, all things are reduced. So whilst our mind, our Infant loves did grow, disguises did, and shadows flow from us and our cares. But now it is not so, that love has not attained the highest degree, which is still diligent, least others see. Kaviya kata hai ki hawara jo prem hai, u prarambi kavastha me tha, aur dhire dhire viksit hota ja raha hai. और अब हम अपना रूप बदल लेते हैं बदलते थे हमारे बीच अत्यधिक परछाइयां थी अर्थात हमारे बीच में चिंताएं भ्रम और संदेह थे जो हमारे बीच से निकल गए हैं अर्थात हमारे साथ भ्रम शक चिंताएं समाप्त हो गई है कभी कहता है कि वह प्रेम अभी पूर्ण प्रेम नहीं है अर्थात उस प्रेम ने अभी संपूर्णता को प्राप्त नहीं किया है जो अभी भी इतना करवट है अर्थात इतनी चिंता करता है कि कोई दूसरा उसे देख न ले अब जब दोपहर का समय है यानी मैच्योर लव है तो परछाई समाप्त हो जाती है तत्पश्चात हमारे बीच में नई परछाई एक नए स्वरूप में सामने आएगी और कुछ नए भ्रम उत्पन्न होते हैं द पॉइंट दैन कंटिन्यूज टू से दैट ऑल दो द लवर्स फील दैट दे हैव रीच द जेनिथ ऑफ द लव ये द लव शेयर्ड बाय दैम कीप्स ग्रोइंग डिलीजेंटली दैट इज द लव बिटवीन द लवर्स keep growing actively and industrially. According to Dunn, the love between the lovers keep growing constantly so that others may not mock at the lovers. Except our loves at this noon stay, we shall The poet then presents a condition and proclaims that this, that if power, that is the love, will continue to prosper, then we will together create new shadows of our love and we will impart new definitions and meanings to our love. Further, the poet says that the moon shadows that will be created by us will blind us that is only we will be able to truly understand the depths of mean and meaning of love 
the point here is trying to convey that moon shadows are not only symbolic of the loss of physical charm but also the persistence of the care and feelings that the lovers have towards each other even after losing their physical attractiveness in this way their love will continue to enhance and prosper the poet continues to present a second condition according to this condition if the love between him and his beloved declines just like the decline or the setting of the sun in the west which is an established fact as the sun always sets in the west then in that case he and his beloved will not remain true to each other as both the lovers will become oblivious to each other the morning shadows wear away but this these grow longer on the day but oh love love's day is short if love decay love is a growing or full constant light and his first minute after noon is night kavi keh raha hai ki jab hamara prem prarambhik avastha mein tha arthat shuru hua tha tab hum ek dusre ko andha banane mein ek dusre ka prem chupate the lekin ab jo uske baad aaya hai vah hame andha bana raha hai arthat अब हमारे भ्रम बढ़ गए हैं और हम एक दूसरे के प्रेम को नहीं देख पा रहे हैं फिर हमारा प्रेम कमजोर होने लगता है जैसे सूर्य पश्चिम दिशा की ओर प्रस्थान करता है और परछाइयां बढ़ने लगती है अर्थात मेरे लिए तुम और तुम्हारे लिए मैं झूठे हो जाते हैं और मैं तुमसे और तुम मुझसे अपनी क्रिया विधि छिपाने लगते हैं तो कवि कह रहा है दैट देर इज इनिशियल स्टेज दैट और इनिशियल स्टेज और बिगिनिंग इन द लाइफ ऑफ द लवर्स विच इज सिंबोलाइज इन द मॉर्निंग शेडोज एंड देन देर लव गोज थ्रू द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ न्यून इन विच देर लव इज एट इट्स जेनेथ मोर ओवर वेन दे बिगिन टू फॉर्म शेडोज एट द नून देन दे बिगिन टू लूज देयर फिजिकल चार बट अकॉर्डिंग टू द पॉइंट love between the lovers shall continue to prosper if they are engrossed in a state of togetherness beyond physicality however the moment that lovers become indifferent and disloyal to each other their love will go through decay and gradually their love is bound to become come to an end towards the close of the poem then highlight is love is growing in full constant light that is love keeps enhancing and growing in intensity then says that if there is any decline in the light of the this love then there is and there is end of the day of love and the lovers are compelled to go through the death of their love this makes the lover co- confront night which is symbolic of the darkness that comes in the lives of the lovers due to the death of their love now the thematic cons- concern of the poem in this poem dan has tried to represent love as a constant and eternal emotion dan has depicted love as a constant emotion as love remains unchanged in all the circumstances true love according to dun is capable of withstanding all the challenges of life and therefore remains unaltered that is constant according to dun love is an emotion that is an epitome of passion also dun has tried to portray love as a dynamic emotion because love is capable of growing and intensifying itself with the passage of time further dun has tried to highlight the fact that love is a source of rejoicement for the lovers dun has used conceit in order to elaborate the various traits and aspects of love conceit is physic basically a comparison 
in which two vastly different objects impact on the readers. For instance, in this poem, the poet has compared true love with growing in full constant light. Since Dunn has showcased love as an eternal emotion in the poem, therefore, he has tried to assert that true love is not meant to undergo decay or death ever. Symbolic significance of the title of the poem, the title of the poem that is a lecture upon the love, that is, symbolizes the lecture that is philosophical and detailed description given by the poet on the various sh shadows, that is, the various stages of love, in the lives of the lovers and the core emphasis of the poem's title is on the word shadow as it symbolizes different stages that the lovers come across in their lives. Thank you for your time. I hope you have liked this lecture upon the love and will continue to be in our next videos.